I know this is gonna be fast anyway, but let's just jump into create a household really quickly. Let's just jump into it really quickly. Okay, so this is with everything installed, which I I will rarely be doing. Um, never, never. This guy. All right, let's just. Uh, okay. Okay, everything's loading pretty fast for very obvious reasons. Let's just quickly make a random sim. I made a video showing you guys how to do presets. Would you guys want me to show you how to do it again? Because I need to rewatch that video and relearn myself. But yeah. Okay. Let's just give this man some lips. He doesn't look that bad. I'm just randomly making attractive sims. I do that. I do that. Okay, I've actually never played with every single expansion pack installed. So let's see what these hairs be looking like just for five seconds. Okay, this hair is weird, but it's not horrifying. Okay. Okay. You know what? I love the pets hairs for men. These hairs, giving giving give on shit all right i love this hair so let's just leave the him with that wow <laughs> that is hilarious okay sir you know what that's not that's not horrifying so we're just gonna goatee is not too bad on this young gentleman but i kind of like this i don't know why you know i don't like it it's it's spaced out weird all right so let's just go and close really quick. This is just me testing out how quickly everything will load. Oh, I found his shirt, guys. I found his shirt. Where'd it go? I found his shirt. It's not this one. There it is. It's giving Ascot. Ascot and friends. All right. This is pretty cute. Okay, thank you. There must be some jeans, just some random jeans. Okay, that's not bad. I hate the coloring of these shoes though. It's 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 giving goofy. Oh, <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see how quickly accessories load up, guys. I'm telling you, I'm a CC. I'm a CC hoarder, so you know, part of me is just a little curious <laughs> to see how quickly everything will load. This is with everything in game. Mind you, I will never play like this unless I absolutely have to, like for a challenge or something, because now I kind of can, but you see how quickly everything is loading? There's no buffering, no lag really. Okay. Yes, we know that sims are unique and different. Are you serious? <laughs> what? Okay, let's just have a little fun and randomize his name. Kenji Palma? You know what's crazy? <laughs> I kind of modeled him after Kenji. I kind of did. Let's just save him to the bin really quick. Okay. Wow, that was really quick. Um, let's see what's in the bin for five seconds as well. Let's see how fast that loads up. Okay, it's loading up pretty quick. It's loading up pretty quick. There are lots of animals in the bin. That's crazy. Lots of random people in the bin that I've never seen before and I go into the bin often. So these must be expansion packs that I rarely use. Lots of little kids in the bin. Y'all just be lazy and just like be putting random towny kids? Just asking. <laughs> this guy's pretty cute, hold up, but let me not mess up this guy. Okay. Oh great, so... Hi sir. Oh my god, let's just end on this pudding faced cute boy's face all right so in the next episode we will go right into mods i will give you guys some tips and tricks about how to speed up the game i think maybe i can do it right now let's go into options really quick 
I'm just turning some of this stuff down because it's gonna be loud in my ears and not loud in you guys's so okay so one thing you do here click that off that's just online if you played The Sims for a very long time, you don't need the lessons, but considering that I'll be using packs that I've never usually used before, I will be enabling lessons. This interactive loading screens, it's fun. I like them, it, unpopular opinion. However, if you need your game to load up really quickly, you might wanna just get rid of the loading screens and you can do that here by just clicking them off. I think there's something else here that doesn't affect anything online right so you click this to so that the online options don't keep coming in but it does not matter now this is to speed up your game these are speed up game tips at the end here okay you do not need hail rain snow or fog because well you might want snow but rain um, i've heard it lags your game um hail definitely lags your game I don't think fog does much um, so if you want to speed up your game and stop lag you can definitely um, take off some of these stuff right here okay now last thing that you can do to clean up stuff this is without mods um, you can get rid of some of the stuff that comes with all these packs get rid of the horses okay get rid of the witches the fairies the vampires werewolves pets celebrities just get rid of them just now sometimes because this game is old you might still see one werewolf two horses um a few celebrities all of that but if you didn't take this off you'd probably see 16 different wild horses flooding through your game the game lagging you can't walk anywhere in sunset valley or Appaloosa plains without the game glitching out on you every five seconds you're trying to drink tea like the, the, the tea is shaking <laughs> let me stop but yeah so these are just some mod free ways to speed up your game also a lot of people don't like doing this but also playing with less expansion packs speeds up the game i know unpopular opinion a lot of people like to play with all the packs installed, especially if they are builders, because, you know, you have all the packs installed together, then you don't really need um, furniture CC. I don't agree with that personally. <laughs> I don't think all of the packs together are better than some of the stuff I've seen on Marta Sim Book, but I can understand that if you don't really care to like fill your game with questionable stuff and you just want to use game stuff, People who like to play the game um, and build, they like to have everything installed. Don't do that. You saw um, when I launched the game prior and it gave me the option to select all the expansion packs. It kept telling me, it kept warning me, don't play with all of them. This is not because the game is going to crash. It's because the performance will be a little lower because everything is installed. People play Let the Sea, you know, they play with everything over a certain period of time and they're fine as long as they do tips that we will talk about later on, later on in this setup series. So yeah, play with two to three, four at most, five if you have a mid-end computer and you can take it, but don't go above six unless you have to. Meaning you're in a custom world that has like six, seven expansion packs and so you have to have them enabled if you want to play in that world. Fine, I get it. I'm not going to be mad at you for that. But don't just play with everything installed just because you can. The Sims 3 is a very rich game. You can play with literally just the base game and one other expansion and play for an entire month and be fine. Okay? So... These are things that I used to do as well. I never used to play with a lot. In Rosé's way, there are only three expansion packs um, on. Only three. Which is Seasons, Generations, and Late Night. That's all. And Base Game. There are definitely other packs that I could have added, but I decided not to. So guys, just be aware of that. You can have everything installed if you want and just add all the mods and fixes that you need to. That is fine. Nobody's judging you. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying if you're on a lower end computer and you're not a YouTuber 
so you don't have to play with all these different packs all at once you don't have to give any world reviews where where the worlds use every expansion pack except into the future or supernatural you, you know people who have to do a lot if you're not a youtuber right or you're not on tumblr and people aren't expecting to see some extravagant stuff with five different packs on at once just maybe keep it to three or lower this is just to help you get less lag and to you know save you from the constant crashing now games will always crash the sims 4 be crashing the sims 4 be lagging you know but at least um these tips should help you have it happen less often okay and I'm, I'm telling you when i play rose's way um knock on wood the game does not crash i'm telling you that right now i've never played rose's way and the game crash no i'm being for real when i made the house when i made the sims when i was playing for three hours um consecutively the game never crashed now, this is not to say that you're never going to get crashing, but I was only playing with like base game at one point and then I added in three expansion packs and I got minimal lag and no crashing. And this is with mods and CC after a while. So the tips I'm telling you, they can help. Now, except before, I am not a tech guru. Um, you can try this and still get lag and crashing based on your system and based on the mods and CC that you may have in game that I'm not aware of. If you need help, I will have help links, Reddit links down below with more tips that I did not have. Um, I'm not really going to send you to videos because it doesn't really make sense. It's, it's really better to read. And if you have to see, you can go on YouTube as well. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the beginning of a very long journey for me. Next will be mods and how to add mods and CC into your game. I will be re-adding a whole bunch of mods and CC onto my game, but I will be doing it in a very specific way just to show you guys some stuff, okay? In any case, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below. And goodbye, my size. Susu. So